your camp. A bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you set this week, huh? Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. Let's go deep. Back to the big WW2. 1947, the feds passed uh, what they call it, the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. We're still here. Shine the spotlight of truth in the Truth is, I see the Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. I'll tell you one thing. It won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you're right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps. Just not the way you were expecting. Stabbing him in the back, huh? That right? He'll like this. I need this more than you. Oh, 
strong. You! Damn it! Don't you see what I'm wearing? Move on it! Got it! Run at him! I'm moving! You now can't I hide, you son of a bitch! What the hell? Now, buddy, we know you're out there. Why don't you drop your weapons? Come out where we can see you. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War, but living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we lived through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. I built my first bunker with him. But... We couldn't build it out in the backyard, with a neighbor spying. Had to 
go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one... Bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out, huh?
Where is it? God damn this. That's gotta be close. Okay. Back later, finish burning out these nests.
There we go.
burn, you goddamn freak. Another nest. Let's go. You got that bounty! The only reason that I go up there.
hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. like they were out here. Shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No! No, not, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. <sighs> You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you?
So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the old Belknap Road, and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. It's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. So about those directions? I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's a... Uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit! God. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. I just... <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> It'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it. Let's go. Let's drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so... The company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. All right, gentlemen.
Smart now, huh? Not here. It's big bad thought. biker, huh? Yeah. Yes, hit him again. How you like that, Mike? Love way to do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn, do you, Mike? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Shit. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. No no. Uh, oh my god. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I oh. oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kinda aim it at them first. Yeah, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna, no gonna do? We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? 